Okay, so this is Mercurio, and he is a PRE, very special one. I've had a lot of people asking me about the canner trot transition. I've done a lot of videos on the trot canner, but often it's harder to go from canner to trot on some horses, and he's one of those. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, there's a link below for my email list. If you want to sign up for that, then you'll get educational emails for free and it will keep you up to date on what's going on. Um, so there's a few reasons that the canter trot transition is difficult. One of them is that sometimes the horse doesn't want to trot. So once you get them in the canter, they'll want to just keep cantering and then you end up kind of pulling on them to make them trot. So when this happens, a couple things can happen. One is the horse will invert and put their head up and drop their back. Um, another one is the horse will lose the bend, but it's all related to the horse not wanting to stay engaged and through and supple and submissive to the aids. So I'm gonna try and show you here um, some techniques that you can use to help with, help improve your canter trot transition. So, First off, I'm going to demonstrate to you some bad canter trot transitions, and then I'm gonna show you some strategies for how to fix these. Okay, so I haven't done too much warm up with him, but like Mercurio, he's a little more of an advanced horse, but I do a lot of canter trot canter transitions as part of my warm up, so I will show you that. So you can see on him the trot canter transition is really nice and fluid, and he stays nicely on the bit. And I'm making sure I have a good quality working canter with lots of jump here. Now, with him, when I make the transition from canter to trot, he likes to invert, pop his head up drop his withers and um, kind of run into the trot. So let me try and show you. So that's kind of what he likes to do. You see how there was a lurch? He, he stopped his hind leg, he put his head up and he trotted. Let me show you once the other way. So again, you see that the trot canner on him is very nice, but I know a lot of you guys are struggling with your canter trot. So he's kind of what I said, like I'll be cantering along and I want to trot and sometimes he doesn't trot. So what lots of riders do is they pull on two reins and then you get that. Where his head came up, he kind of lurched into the trot and now I no longer have any connection or bend or anything. Okay, so let's talk about solutions. How are we going to solve this? In a good canter trot transition, you want it to be fluid. That wasn't a very good trot canter. Okay, so in the, go in the canter to trot, you want to maintain fluidity. You want to maintain the frame. You want the hind leg to stay stepping through. So my suggestions are as follows. Number one, do it on a circle line. Don't do it on a straight line to start with. What the circle line is gonna do is it's gonna help you keep your horse bending and keep that inside hind leg engaged. So I'm thinking about that bending line and thinking about a little shoulder forward, shoulder in, slightly pushing him off that inside leg and trot. So that's still, you see he lost a little the frame so now I'm gonna ride him a little more forward and through in the trot immediately. Go back up, no, is that the right lead? Go back up to canter, boy. And then I'm gonna try that again. It's really important in the canter trot that you don't lock up in, the, in, the, in your hands. So when I'm asking him for canter trot, my hips are going canter, 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 
canter. I'm keeping him off of my inside leg and into that outside rein and doing a little bit of a half halt and trot. Boy, that was better. What you want to see is that your horse lands immediately into a nice forward trot. Um, you don't want that your horse lands into like almost walk and then you have to kick them forward to trot. In, in training level and first level and even in the Grand Prix, you have to do a canter trot transition. It's one of the most difficult transitions that we come across. So again, I'm here on the circle line. I'm thinking of keeping that bend, keeping him off of my left leg into my outside rein, a quick half halt with my outside rein and trot. And so if he puts his head up in the transition, I just ride on and try to get him right away as round and as soft as possible in the trot and then repeat it. Like, so if you have a bad transition, don't just think, oh, well that sucked, I give up. Think, oh, I've got to get him round and forward and get this trot how I wanted it to be. There, that was a good one. Good boy. And always make sure in your riding and your training to really reward your horse. And when they do what you want them to do, you know, give them a little break, really pet them and tell them that was right. Because if you're not clear with a reward, then um, your horse is never going to learn. So let me show you another exercise so if you're saying okay well that's great but you know i want my horse to trot and he's just not not trotting and not staying around you can take this to a little more of an extreme so if i'm like on a super hot horse and i want it to trot and it doesn't want to trot so here's what most riders do is they they want their horse to trot their horse isn't trotting so they pull back on two reins as hard as they can. They lean forward and they bring their horse to the trot. That is exactly the wrong thing to do. And there's no future in doing that. So instead of just pulling back on two reins, we have the nice lawnmower here. I may have to voice over this. So instead of just pulling back on two reins, if I'm cantering here, and my horse, and I want to trot, I'm going to go on to a 10 meter circle and then I'm going to over bend my horse and really push those hips out. Push the hip out, push the hip out until there. And then I'm going to pet my horse. Good boy, good boy. So I'm saying I'm not going to pull on you. I'm not going to force you to trot. I'm just going to make it really, really difficult for you to keep cantering because it's hard for them to canter and bend that much and push their haunches out. So it's gonna kind of make, let them make the decision of, hey, you know, do you think I could trot? That might be easier instead of continuing cantering. So let me show you again. So say I wanna trot and my horse isn't trotting. I'm gonna just turn onto a smaller circle I'm a little bit lifting my inside hand. I'm really pushing his hips out. I'm making him separate his hind legs until he trots. Boy. And then I'll do that same thing the other way. So it's basically like I used to work with a, um, a horsemanship guy named Ray Hunt. I don't know if any of you guys know of him, but comment below. He was like an old time horseman guy. And he would say, make the wrong thing difficult and the right thing easy. So let's say I'm cantering, 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 and I want to try, I'm gonna make it difficult for him to keep cantering by bending him and pushing those hips out until there. He automatically said, okay, why don't I, why don't I just break to the trot? Let me show you that one more time boy and you can see how 
as I'm doing this, he's getting better than those first canter trots I did. Like he's not dropping his back and lurching so much. He's staying more fluid, better bending, pushing that hip out. Step forward into trot. Good boy, good boy. And again, rewarding him when he does it correctly. So then once you feel obviously like, you know, in your test, you can't make a tiny circle and crank your horse's head around to get them to trot. In a test, you need to do it sometimes on the long side or at the letter A. So if I need to do this on a straight line, then I'm just gonna use the technique of a little shoulder four or a little shoulder in. And since I've kind of already taught that to my horse, there, and it still needs work. Try it one more time. Where I really feel like that transition is seamless. I'm keeping him into the outside rein. No, don't brace. And like with him, if I feel him brace up before trotting, I'll send him forward and make him round there. And I maybe won't let him trot until he's staying round in that transition. Boy, a oh boy. So again, I hope that helps you guys. It's for sure a very hard um, transition to do well, but it's in the Grand Prix, so don't forget to practice it.